Morning, everybody. Spitting Cobra here. Um, a while back, I did a video of a Mesa police officer that was fired for uh, shooting a guy in the ass. Um, I just came across the uh, actual body cam footage of the incident and thought you guys would like to see it. Um, this officer who shot him in the ass clearly has no right whatsoever to have a gun in his hand. He is so stupid. For the first time, we're seeing video of the Mesa police officer now fired from the force and charged with aggravated assault after shooting an unarmed man in the hip. ABC 15 investigator Melissa Blazy is obtaining the body camera footage, reports, police emails about the shooting, and the department's response. I want to warn you, this story contains some graphic scenes of real life violence. If you don't wish to see it, you may want to turn away until this story is over. Oh, this is stupid. December 6, 2019, Mesa police are called to Ojos Locos Cantina in the parking lot. And they blurred it. Guys who were kicked out before after they having some sort released of argument it. with staff. We're not charging you with anything. They want you to trespass. Mesa police intentionally blurred this video before releasing it to ABC 15. But you can see 45 year old Randy Sewell is the guy in the black shirt. Oh, you are required to give us your personal yeah. information. No, you're not. To identify you. Okay. A few minutes later, he walks away from another officer. Get back over there. Put your hands on me. This is the turning point. ACLU lawyer Jared Keenan says the officers had been unlawfully detaining Randy, who should have. Mesa PD, this is Spitting Cobra. Unless you legally detain or arrest a person. You don't have the fucking right to ask for their ID. Get that through your fucking head. Been free not to provide his name and free to leave. I see no justification in this video for, for why the police needed to escalate that situation that quickly and that aggressively um, for someone who was just, you know, uh, asserting his rights. Officers put the father of five at taser point and try to cuff him, never saying he's under arrest. Then chaos. Get your hand behind your back. Agent. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. It there he goes. So fast, as officer Shot him right in the ass. Hurries over, grabs Randy from Get behind and shoots him point blank in the hip. Then Chisler reholsters his gun and swears. Officer Chisler later told investigators because of the motion of Sewell's hand in the waistband area where weapons are commonly carried and the suspect crouching over, he determined there was a threat and he responded according to his training and experience. He also <laughs> said Randy Sewell was throwing two officers on the south side of him into a light pole. But that doesn't match the video as Sewell hangs onto the light pole with one hand and the other hand swings away from his body. Jeff Hines is a former Phoenix police commander who's testified in other cases as a use of force expert. When he went hands on and the weapon discharged, there's there's just no way around it. You blew it. What was that? None of you the officers blew it. immediately report the shooting. Officer Chisler stands in stunned silence. Goodbye, this is the Officer Chisler. Officer involved shooting in less than five years. Internal police emails showed in the days yep. following He's he bald. skipped at least one fucking tyrant motherfucker. Randy Sewell, who had a broken femur and required surgery, was quickly charged with several crimes, including aggravated assault on an officer. Six months later, the county attorney has also charged Officer Nathan Chisler with aggravated assault, indicating this shooting was both intentional and not justified. But when you force a confrontation with somebody that's been drinking um, in excess, this is what happens. They don't comply. They listen uh inattentively they don't do what they're told and then the officers take it to the next level when you do that outcomes like this happen i'm investigator melissa blazius okay when he said the officer takes it to the next level um and this is spit and cobra talking it's called ego i've been telling you motherfuckers this for years ego abc 15 arizona 
As Melissa reported, Mesa police intentionally blurred the video before releasing it to ABC. That's uh, become common practice of many police agencies when they release officer body camera video. By doing that, police may be hiding facts that unblurred video Absolutely. would reveal. ABC 15 has asked Mesa police to release the complete unaltered Trying to video hide because you have a right to what see happened. it. We'll let you know what happens. That's it, guys. <laughs> What, when they blur it, they're After trying to hide what happens. Spitting Cobra. I'm out.